Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So, uh, we're off to start the next arc here. Down somewhere. I forget where we're going. But the boat's taking care of it, so it's all good. I'm meeting up with Sigurd, though. I don't think he knows what we did last episode. <laughs> but, uh, if he does, he's gonna kill us. Simple as that. But I've made peace with that, so... I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, this looks like the place. So, we're going over there. Soldiers on alert. What has happened here? Oh. There's gear in there. I will come back for it. An alehouse. This must be it. No, that the will at Nengarthi get out. Sigurd is not here. I'll ask around. I was gonna say that didn't look like him. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Xenophon's Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village. Who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. All right. Doesn't matter the game. Always pays to level up that charisma skill. I'll check along the river. There they are. It smells like a fish house. Good spot. <sighs> we could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. 
Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrifying. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. The Paladin Stone. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead. Always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, hey. for he is wise and poor. Damn. I'm just gonna keep running. Nope, that didn't work. Ran more guards. Place is all mine. I picked up the pike, damn it. Don't throw that. Dude, we started a war. What have I done? Touch that pike. Can't believe you. I think that's the last of it. Very good. It's in fact not the last of it. These soldiers are tightly wound. Find the key. Oh, that was easy. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible. It will shatter your mind to shards. But our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. 
Do not let Basim and his Wait, this isn't even the longhouse, I'm done. You from our simple goal. The guy's no. guarding some treasure. No, he's outside. We shall soon be the Lords of Mercia, then all of you. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of oh, my that face, gears in here. and heard the litany of my forefathers, and well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Well, that worked out, didn't it? It's probably why it was so heavily guarded. Magister's Van Rice is nice. the red to go away so I can see where they're actually facing. <laughs> I'm stuck on this box. From the other side. Ah, damn. Supposed to be assassination. All right, war number two starts now. I really wasn't counting on that door being locked. Not gonna lie. like Sigurd's down. If uh, I don't revive him, he'll never know what happened between me and Randy. This actually worked out beautifully. That was a cheap shot. That was just me being bad at this game. And that. No more. I've worked hard and I've risen above. Ah, he's back. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenophotshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd of the Hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. What have they, they, what they, what they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? 
Dude, Sigurd is just throwing axe after axe. Attacks aren't working on that shield. So be it. Remain steadfast. Damn it to hell. I've escaped. Nice. A standard bearer to his final moments. I was desperate to fight. You should have freed me. Gidrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where with... Where is she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Lichvila garrison. Basim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. Holy woman who trades in trust. We are out of rations. How deep is this water? Oh, it's fine. Nope. It's deep. Just absolutely dusted both of those guys, too. They're <laughs> trying to have a conversation. It's took off. Climb the tree. Nope. It was so good for a second. There we go. Oh, cutscene. Okay. We are about to execute the prisoners. This building is literally just designed for assassins to have a field day. I mean, why would they build it like this?
Is that not gonna one shot him? Uh I feel like I can't count on the double assassination anymore, but I gotta try. Okay, good, it, it worked. Wait, what? Who saw that? Uh, I think he just bugged out. Someone yelled, but no one's moving. Was that not an assassination? Just die quietly. <laughs> Only dreams now. <laughs> I need this key. No, put him down. This is so scuffed. I absolutely can't outrun you, by the way. Did I even get the key or just pick up? No, I didn't. I got the nickel ingot. All right. Oh, there's three in here now. Wait till there's two. Let me assassinate them. Climb those for some reason. Oh, there. No, nope. was reaching for that bar. I really can't climb any higher. There we go. Okay. one there. Oh, this place is kind of massive. Why would you start moving now? Alright, whatever. If you're gonna go over there, that's fine. Oh, they're kind of rotating positions, aren't they? Treasure in there. Beautiful. Feign death. Ooh. That might be helpful in this zone right here. Fool enemies by playing dead. It's 
not quite what I expected. I was wondering if it would cancel combat. Have to test it, I suppose. Hell yeah. Might be able to upgrade one of my weapons now. Drag him into the bushes a bit, maybe. There we go. He should stop walking any second now. Not quite. the bushes <laughs> I was trying to do the like fast run past everyone so I wouldn't be detected and then I pressed B to uncrouch but it made me do one of my other attacks come on over here big guy If I just kill this guy from all the way over here, I'm insane. A little more to the left. Okay, he's coming. Nope, tie an issue. Friend, get me out of here before they have my head. Should probably do something about that first. No one heard that. <laughs> Guess I have to move this guy. Off you go. Where's that guy going? Okay. Where do we move this thing to? Can I just move it straight back? Nope. Oh, it'll go that way. This guy's just in the way. Thanks a lot, bud.
Got another clue for the order. Nice. Just gonna go back outside. <laughs> it's very nice these guys to constantly be refunding our arrows. I wanna try this. He hasn't seen me. We'll wait here until he does. Alright, I'm bored. front door somehow. Where might I find some oil jars? have to keep our eye out, I guess. I took a gamble, was hoping for a crit, didn't happen, but it all turned out in the end. Cage is empty. Can't quite get an angle on that guy. Oh well. Actually, really didn't let me assassinate that guy. So upsetting. This nerd over here. Alright. Just need to find a jar of oil. And then we're out of here. I am not leaving without that gear. Well, that took forever, but it turns out it was in this house we had to unlock. Please. Easy. I'm honestly so good at opening doors, it's wild. Check this out now, I'm not gonna walk through the fire. I'm gonna wait for it to go out. I'm a changed man. Magister's robes. We gotta be close to that full set. I think we're only missing the pants, I wanna say. Yeah. 
Got those. Got the mask. Just picked up the robes. Oh, I don't think we have the cloak, do we? No, we do. Okay, yeah, so just the pants. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. All right, I'm going to end this episode here since we took a while to stealthily clear that place out. It's pretty fun though. I usually just go in fighting these days, but nice to play some good old fashioned Assassin's Creed every once in a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.